वेलकम फ्रेंड्स इन लकी बायोलॉजी टूटोरियल्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट प्रोटीन टारगेटिंग देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोटीन टारगेटिंग दैट इज को ट्रांसलेशनल प्रोटीन टारगेटिंग एंड पोस्ट ट्रांसलेशनल प्रोटीन टारगेटिंग को ट्रांसलेशनल प्रोटीन टारगेटिंग मीन्स द टारगेटिंग ऑफ प्रोटीन विद द सिंथिस their synthesis and post translational protein targeting means first synthesize protein after then it will target to its destination now we will this understood inside a cell about protein targeting This is a. Uh, we will consider. Uh, we consider this is a cell, and uh, inside the cell, it is a nucleus, in which DNA are present. DNA transcribed to form mRNA. transcribe to form mrna we all of us know it and mrna comes inside the cytoplasm here there are two types of protein targeting that is co translational protein targeting and post translational protein targeting first we will uh, we discuss about co translational protein targeting in co translational protein targeting endoplasmic reticulum endoplasmic reticulum having ribosomes at their surface we all of us know that therefore this surface is called this surface is called rough endoplasmic reticulum rough endoplasmic reticulum inside this ribosomes mrna comes and translate translation occurs and synthesize protein which target inside the er lumen now er lumen er lumen forms some special types of vesicle special types of vesicle in which proteins are come and uh, this vesicle reaches at golgi body which is golgi body here this vesicle fuses with the golgi body at the trans trans position we know that the golgi body having two sides that is trans side and cis side okay trans side and cis side The, um, this vesicle fuses with uh, in at the trans side okay trans side and um, this vesicle comes here okay in this uh, sorry this uh, protein comes here inside the inside the golgi body there are so many chemical modifications occurs inside the 
endoplasmic reticulum as well as inside the Golgi body. We will discuss these modifications in next video. Okay. Now this vesicle go its correct destination with the forming a new special type of vesicle known as clathrin. Clathrin. Clathrin vesicle. Clathrin vesicle. Okay, this clathrin vesicle now moves towards lysosome. We all of us know that lysosome is a suicidal bag, and there are so many types of enzymes are here. Now, this vesicle fused with the lysosome and this protein comes inside this inside the lysosome okay if there is uh, uh, chemical uh, chemical modification which occurs inside the er if there is a some uh, chemical mod modification left inside this protein that means the it is not a correct protein okay it is not a correct protein then here uh, golgi apparatus forms new special types of vesicle which is known as cop first this vesicle is known as cop second and this vesicle is known as cop first this cough first vesicle this cough first vesicle takes takes this protein uh, uh, takes this protein when there is a some correction or occur now this cop first vesicle fused with the ER fused with the ER and again it will reach to the ER for the um, chemical modification ok now another types uh, here the uh, protein are occur it also go to the plasma membrane it also go to the plasma membrane plasma membrane it is not a special type of vesicle it is only general type of general type of vesicle which follow only snare hypothesis we will discuss a snare hypo about a snare hypothesis in next video okay it will go to the plasma membrane you know that plasma membrane having an intrinsic and extrinsic protein they are the transporter proteins which which is present inside the plasma membrane uh, these uh, proteins come to the co-translational protein targeting okay now we will discuss about uh, post translational protein tar targeting second one post translational protein targeting this one is co translational protein co translational protein targeting that means ctpt okay now we will discuss about post translational protein targeting when mrna conjoined with the 
free mRNA inside the cytoplasm then protein will synthesize protein will be synthesized this flow inside the cytoplasm it flow float inside the cytoplasm now we all of us know that proteins having two ends that is n terminal ends and c terminal end n terminal end and c terminal end there are so many chemicals which is known as signal sequences these signal sequences attached at n terminal end or c terminal end most of the mostly we will we know that uh, signal sequences attached at n terminal end but there is one exception that is ta when targeting inside the peroxisome then this this will be uh, uh, signal sequences attached at the c terminal end but uh, 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 mostly signal sequences attached at the n terminal end okay now here signal sequence uh, uh, signal sequence attached at signal sequence attached at n terminal end of a particular protein now this protein target with the help of this signal sequence to the four cell organelles we know first one is nucleus and peroxisome okay and mitochondria and chloroplast chloroplast now you can understood about protein targeting with the help of this diagram this is only a overview of protein targeting we will discuss uh, uh, next video about the uh, protein targeting inside uh, endoplasmic reticulum protein targeting in inside the body body protein targeting inside nucleus protein targeting inside peroxisome in protein targeting inside mitochondria and protein targeting inside chloroplast and uh, some uh, i have also uh, tell you that uh, snare hypothesis with the help of snare hypothesis uh, this general vesicle reaches to its destination with the help of snare hypothesis snare hypothesis snare hypo these topics uh, we will discuss in next video okay okay thank you thanks